guys. So you'll remember that last week I made a video about tangles and some of the tangles that have been sent to me by Zuru, which are a fidget toy company basically. So I didn't talk last week about the fidget cubes that Zuru had sent me and so I wanted to just check these out really quick on my channel and see how I like fidgeting with them. So fidget cubes had kind of become like a really big sensation and I actually have never owned fidget cubes before. I haven't used them in therapy sessions and so this will be a new experience for me. The fidget cubes that were sent to me by Zuru were the second kind, so they were the colorful colorful edition of Fidget Cube. So they sent me this one, this leopard, I don't know if they have the colors on them, but anyway, this kind of pink leopard Fidget Cube. There was a blue and orange Fidget Cube. There was kind of this like matte black, oh, you can't really see it very well. A matte black Fidget Cube. And then this one, which was kind of another pink, swirly let me just I'm trying to get it so you guys can see pink swirly themed fidget cube so this one is a little bit opened because I was just trying to pick at the things so I'm going to open this one the blue and orange fidget cube on it in each fidget cube it has a little descriptor telling you what each one is there's a spin turner so I think the spin turner is oh, a little bit slippery. Uh, the spin turner I believe is this one so it's kind of like a spinner with a little handle and you just kind of fidget with it by spinning it. I think like this. It feels pretty good. It's a little bit rough sometimes when you are spinning it but it does feel pretty good and it's not it doesn't feel like it would be super distracting for children or adults when sat in meetings or sat um, in classrooms, so I kind of like that function. There is a flip turner, so this is like a switch. It's designed to kind of be, I think, like a light switch or something, so you can fiddle with that. This one might not be the best thing in class because it's quite noisy, but this might be a good one for like if you're at home in your home office or if you have a child at home who's trying to study or work on something like that. I feel like this would be a good function of the fidget cube. There's like another a roller. So these ones that roll and then there's like a ball too that rolls. So this is actually a really nice sensation. I like this. This is probably my favorite one so far. Um, so this is the ball and this one also has this effect so it kind of is like pushing in. It's a little bit like if anyone's ever played Sorry and the clicker where you have the dice. That's kind of what this reminds me of. So these are some kind of nice sensations just for different types of fidgeting and different types of sensory input. There's also this one. So these are like, kind of looks like a dice actually, but they all have different things. So some of them don't have a sound, just like this one. Then some of them do have a sound and a slightly more firm texture when you push on them. Some are lighter and have a medium kind of sound. And that one again is another hard one and then this one is also has no sound. So that's quite a nice sensation as well. Probably would be good for like stress. This to me is similar to when people click on their pen and that's kind of an anxious habit, right? So having the fidget cube in hand is a little bit more practical than a pen. You aren't gonna break it. So I kind of like that sensation. And then just for, and I don't know if people notice this, but for me, as someone who just likes textures, there's also one part on the fidget cube that's like an indented part. So I don't know if you can see it on the camera there. Yeah, you can see it there. So it's kind of indented. And for me, I actually find it really soothing just to rub that part and like have that kind of sensory feeling on the pad of my finger. So you guys, that's the fidget cube. I don't know that I would necessarily recommend it as the greatest tool in class for some kids or for meetings and stuff simply because of the noise that comes from the fidget cube. But I think for a non-distracting fidget tool like at home or something just to play with while you're 
feeling stressed out or like as a way to self-soothe and self-regulate for ADHD, for anxiety, I quite like the fidget cube and I think that it would be an interesting tool to use. I also like that it comes in a variety of different colors. I particularly am a fan of the black just for adults, for being at work. It kind of looks a little bit more professional or like something you could have on your desk. So thanks again to Zero for sending me a selection of their fidgets. Don't forget, see I'm fidgeting with this while I'm talking to you guys and it's clicking. <laughs> so don't forget to check out my links below and subscribe to my channel as well for weekly videos on mental health and mental health tips and strategies, tools that you can use. Thanks so much for watching you guys and have a great week.